our first piece of exposed gold of the day. No, oh, like there. There's another one. More gold sitting on bedrock. <laughs> I love my fans. I really, really do. Good morning or good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new to it. My name is Polly. Today we're in Kamloops, British Columbia to look for some gold, or what I like to call candy, along the Tranquil River. I think that's how you say it. Last night I explored this area to make sure it was safe enough to fly the drone, and of course I brought prospecting gear, and I did manage to find a little piece of gold, so hopefully that luck continues today. Dan Hurd will be joining us today, or technically I'm joining Dan Hurd and his friend Bryson and Mike, but they're up ahead, so we gotta figure out where they are. There's a lot more snow than there was last night, so hopefully that won't be a problem. But we'll make it work. This way. Hey Paul, how do you know where we're going? Well, uh, other than the smell, you can typically hear Dan's beard flapping in the wind. <laughs> so we just follow that. Over here. And there they are. Hello everyone! Hello everyone, Dan Hurd, Dan Hurd Prospecting here. Welcome back to Polly's channel. Polly has been having a hard time finding gold lately. The rainy west coast has been drowning him out. He called me up and said, help Dan, I need to find my gold fix. So I've invited him out here to the Tranquil River where we always find gold. And hopefully, Polly can get some, oof, snowball fights in. <laughs> hopefully he can find some gold too. So now that we're here, um, as you can see, everywhere is just covered in snow, so I'm just going to stick to digging and panning, but first we've got to find a place to do it. So let's go do that. I don't know how well you guys can see with all this bright white snow, but this is where I found that piece of gold yesterday. Right here is all bedrock, and right here is not bedrock, so this is a low pressure zone given that the creek is running this way. So let's try there. The ground isn't as frozen as I thought it would be. But still works. First pan of the day. Right. These are gold in our first pan. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, buddy. Six pieces of candy. Yay. <laughs> well, that's the best pan I've had so far. Still nothing huge, but 10 little specks. Not bad. For my second pan. What do we get in our second pan? Okay. There's one. One, two, three, four, five. Five little pieces of poop. So for three pans in this spot, this is what it looks like. Not tea bag. Um, definitely worth continuing on this spot, so I think that's what we will do. The deeper I go, the more bedrock I'm seeing. I'm trying to scoop it out before the water reaches it. Oh, 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 oh. I think I saw something. All right, either saw something or it was 
a false alarm, but we will find out. So scratching up a bit of this exposed bedrock, I managed to find our first piece of exposed gold of the day. I really like seeing that. Let's try to pick it up. Yeah, first try. Sweet, not too big. So while we're here, I'm just gonna scratch up a bit of this stuff and see if we see anything else. So I'll kind of pile it down here and then I'll recover it with a spoon. And then when I get most of the dirt out, I'll rinse it with water and try it again. Because sometimes it just takes a little bit of water to see that shiny yellow gold or candy. Dan just showed me one of his pans. Very nice. Awesome. Good for you. Nothing big yet though. Nothing hey, big. It's consistent. That's what counts. That's what we say when we're not finding anything big. Ah, okay. It's about the adventure, right? It's all about the adventure. It's how you find gold and it's about getting the gold. out, getting exercise. Blah blah blah. All spending that. time with friends. All that boring stuff. When you find yeah. gold, it's about the gold. Exactly. So it's good to look on all sides of the bedrock because sometimes you'll find a piece of gold that's stuck to that rock. Oh, hey, look at that. Bingo. <laughs> Another piece of gold sitting right there. What did I just say? Sometimes you find gold stuck to the rock. All right, Paul, can you please stop finding gold so I can fly the drone? Okay. All right, just for now? Yep, I'm gonna right. pan this out, so you should film that, though. Okay. <laughs> so this should have gold in it because I saw pieces of gold on the bedrock that I put in the pan, so there should be gold in here. If, I, if there's not, I'm going to lost it. Not a very big pan of material, but this material is concentrated, so chances are higher. What was in those cracks? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> We have a piece of lead, and we have gold. So I'm thinking, given that this is such a beautiful landscape when you got perfect lighting with all the snow, I think we should all set up for a photo for the social meteors. Is there a way we can get a photo with you too? Is there a reason? I guess, I don't know how we do that. You asked for it. So of course, like I was saying, I moved from the spot right over there, and then Dan took it over. I got Polly's gold, I got Polly's gold, and now Polly wants me to suck it. There we are. Look at all that gold. Nice. Way to go, mister. <laughs> get one. You small, but I got one. Heck yeah. I'm, I might as well film this one myself since you. Hey, I'm a YouTuber. I'm yeah. supposed to have these things on camera. More gold sitting on bedrock. And now that I put my fingernail on the camera, everyone's gonna comment that I have dirty fingernails. You have dirty fingernails. Flake of gold. That's a really small one. Okay, let's count to 41. Okay. One, two, three. Oh! No! Ah! We got it, we got it, we got it. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Kinda works with me. Yeah, get out of here! <laughs> Please! Please. Oh, fine. I'll take holes and lift rocks for you anytime, man. Dreamwork makes the dream work. Dango! So, I just found some more gold. It's a nice, it looks like a thick piece, but the trick is when you're filming it, you gotta do your close up shots and you gotta film it before you tell them. Otherwise, they're gonna come in and it's gonna be. Hard to film. That's our secret. So this is where I've been working for the last while. And then I just started working over here. Sorry, did you flag me over? Didn't find too much. But then, everyone helped me move this rock. 
And I dug down into this corner, which I don't even think was under the rock, and we found another piece of surface gold. This one does look like to have a bit more thickness than those other pieces, but there's only one way to find out. You're going to town over here. You can see it, right? Uh, some v oh yeah, nice. Some VG. Some nice visible gold. Virgin ground. Squidward. Sasquatch. Oh, so hi. <laughs> um. And Polly did it again. Polly found gold on bedrock. Oh, wow. Woo -hoo! That's well, she's sick, sick eh? Where's the camera? Thanks. So I have half a bucket filled up and we're gonna just do a whole bunch of pants right here and see what we get. All right, so I have this much material in the pan. Before I look and see what kind of gold is in it, I'm just gonna empty out the bucket so we can see exactly what was in the entire bucket. This river was hit hard just over 100 years ago. There was quite the gold rush on Tranquil River, and there were hundreds if not thousands of people here working this river. And if you go walk upstream just a little ways, you can see great big huge banks of their big cobbles that they piled in huge walls. Really neat to see. Get anything heavy, all the metals, to go through the classifier and into the pan. I already saw a piece of gold in there. Well, see a couple pieces. Let's see what was in the bucket. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a whole bunch of little micro poops. And a little silver piece there that could be mercury. Okay, do you think that's mercury? Could totally, it? totally mercury covered gold. Yep. Absolutely. And Trank Hill is actually quite known for it because the old time miners used mercury to capture gold here. Every time we can pull out a piece like that, it just cleans up our rivers that little bit more. Take that government, we're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer the straw method where you suck it up with your mouth. The mercury? Yeah, it's good for you. What were we talking about? So I think we're calling it a day today, but Dan and I will show you the gold back at the motel. But first, before we go, let's go take a look and see what Bryson and Mike found. Diving? No, I don't. Um, yeah. Nope. I'd like to. I just don't know if my health is quite right for it. Right, yeah, fair enough. Here I am riding the short bus with my gold that I got today. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Okay, that's it for us. So we'll go back to the motel, show you the gold a little bit closer, and well, I guess that's it. Back at the hotel now. Let's go have a look at that gold. So not bad at all. Gold seems to shrink when it's dry, but not this chunky bit. I also found a tip of an arrowhead shortly after we left, so even more of a reason to come back in the future. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more from Mike, Bryson, or Dan Hurd, I left their links down below. And if you want to see anything else extra, like behind the scenes footage, or just hints to see what's coming up in the near future, please feel free to check out my social media. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, beard. You have dirty fingernails.